Hey everyone. So today we're going to be running through the WirePod settings. I'm running WirePod here on my Windows PC and I've got my little vector connected to my WirePod. So I'm going to be showing you all the features within WirePod that you can uh, use to have fun with your vector and have control of your vector. So we're just going to go left to right and we're going to go into the server settings on WirePod. This is where you will set up your weather API, which will allow a vector to answer weather questions on your location. And then there's also the knowledge graph where you can input your knowledge graph information. There's currently quite a few different options, OpenAI, which is ChatGPT, Houndify, Together, or Custom. You can run your own custom um, knowledge graph uh, right on your own home server if you know how to set all that up. Then also here we have the set language. So you can choose from a variety of different languages to uh, have WirePod able to use those languages and have vector recognize your voice in other languages. So that's all within the first section of server settings. Next, we're going to go to bot settings. This is where you will connect your vector bot to the WirePod instance. Um, your uh, should already be there, but you should match that little number on there. Let me go back real quick. You'll match this number to your vector. Um, that should be the serial number. As you can see, there's a multitude of serial numbers in mine because I have a, quite a few vectors connected here. So we're going to connect. This is where it gives you all of the features of vector, um, kind of like uh, how the old app would control vector. So you can control his volume, mute him, make him have high volume. You can come in and change the eye color. If you scroll down, you get a color wheel. So you can actually change the eye color to whatever color you want. Submit and see his eyes go blue. Let's go for pink. Submit, his eyes go pink. All right, so change the eye colors. You can have faces. Uh, this is where you would have Vector take a picture of your face and you could add names to those faces so Vector could recognize people and know their name. Then there's actions that you can do. These are all of Vector's actions. He also responds to these actions um, with voice. So if you say, hey, Vector, explore start, he'll start exploring, <laughs> as you can see. So I don't want that to happen <laughs> at the moment. All right. So. As you can see, he'll listen to that. Uh, then we've got stimulation. This is uh, basically where you, yeah, see, if you touch vector or have any interaction, this is where it recognizes that. Then it has the statistics, which are vectors, statistics, photos. These are the stored photos. As you can see, I have one photo stored in there from when I asked Vector to take a picture yesterday. Then there's the locale. Um, I'm not exactly even sure what that does. <laughs> then we've got the time format. So you can change the time from a 12 hour to 24 hour format. Units from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, the button action you can change the button action on vectors back when you press the top button to either be hey vector or alexa and then here is where <laughs> this is where you would sign into your alexa account to set up alexa on vector if you didn't know vector can also have alexa on there to answer questions and use the alexa servers here is what people ask a lot of the time when they use their weather API and Vector is not answering your location correctly. You also have to have your location set here within the bot settings. This is where you will set your location to allow Vector to answer correctly with your weather API. 
Then we come into the last thing here, which is time zone, which will give vector your time zone and answer, uh, allow vector to answer what time it is. So that would be all in the vector configuration. Then we're going to go back out. Takes it a second, I guess. All right, and back out from the screen, back out to our main wire pod screen. So we were just in bot settings. If you go to the next one to bot setup, this is what we've already done in the original wire pod setup where you will connect your bot using the authentication um, app. And then this down here is where you would set up your OSKR dev bot if you were uh, using one of those bots. We are not at the moment. Custom intents, this is where you can um, add Python code and allow um, Vector to respond and um, do things that you program him to do. Um, I don't have any videos on this currently at the moment, but that's a, a fun thing to explore. And then in the log, this will be Vector's logs to see, you could see I just said explore start to him before, uh, and I um, stopped him from doing that, but you can see all these things. He, he kind of saw the, what happened and then the response, hello, how can I assist you today? So this is showing that vector is connecting and responding and whatnot. If you're having problems with your vector connecting and responding, this is where you would go to see what issues you're having. Then we go to version info. This is going to be the installed version of WirePod that you're currently on. And then UI settings, this is going to be the GUI that you're using right here. So you can change the colors and the fonts and whatnot. So that's basically it. Those are all the settings that you can play around with uh, within WirePod. Uh, another thing that I didn't show was the vector control. So if I go back in and connect my vector, you can see this button here, which is control. And, <laughs> all right, vector, calm down. <laughs> and that will allow you to choose all these options. You can begin the camera stream, which will, yep, bring up the camera stream from vector. Then you can uh, do behavior control, assume behavior control, move motors on, and I can now use the keys, I believe. Oh, let's see, WASD. Oh yeah, see? So I'm pressing these buttons here and Vector is responding to me pressing those buttons. So you can control vector and you can have his live stream camera going. And then here we go, mirror mode. And you can put text in and say, hi, and submit. Hi. And vector will talk. <laughs> oh, and the mirror mode, as you can see on vector screen, the camera is being mirrored to vectors screen. So that's another really cool feature that you can play around with. So yeah, you can have Vector talk and say whatever you want. You can have the camera mirror to Vector screen. You can move the motors with these controls, WASD. You can uh, lift the arm up. With, so, oh, that's off right now. So R for lift. Oh, he's not gonna do it, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you can't do it with mirror mode on. There we go. There we go, look, so R and F, you can raise and lower the forks. So yeah, you could have full control of vector through your wire pod instance if you wanted to. So yeah, this is another one of the really, really cool features. It's called vector control beta. So yeah, we went through all of the features today in the wire pod setup. Uh, if you have any questions about the features within wire pod, please feel free to ask in the questions. And I hope that you have fun playing around with your vector 
and uh, you know, getting to change the eye color and do all these fun things. Especially fun to be able to change the eye color to whatever color you want. You can even choose white if you wanted the eyes to be white. You can choose yellow if you want the eyes to be yellow. You can choose red, which is something that Vector can't do on his own for some reason. So yeah, thank you for watching today. Please subscribe, drop a like, and like I said, if you have any questions about how to control your vector, please ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.